I brought out this tray of wildflowers, and we're going to be planting them around here, just in a part of the garden that really doesn't have any growth. This is actually where I set up my earth oven in years past. Got some algae growth, but some of these have really nice roots. I'm just going to pop these in the soil here. A lot of these are just unknown wildflowers. I just collected seeds last autumn, and now we're finally going to be able to see what we've actually got. This is just a little experiment to kind of fill in parts of the garden for local pollinators. Just to try and carry on a wild meadow into the back garden here. There's a turkey approaching. It's like Jurassic Park in here today. Can you see him out there? He's got a beautiful red coloration. I'm just gonna sit here and see if he'll walk past. Today I'm out pulling weeds in the rain. Now's a really good time because the ground is soft. Things like dandelions, which have these deep tap roots, come right up. You can grab as many leaves as you can. There should be just enough to pull out those roots. Otherwise they're incredibly stubborn. We're also going to be pulling some of these wild violets. Not to destroy, but to actually transplant into other parts of the garden. You can always tell because they have these heart-shaped leaves that these are those wild violets. Some of them are a little bit fuzzy. I think those might be a different variety. And then the smooth ones are the common blue violet. We actually got a couple different varieties of clover to show up. So we'll be transplanting these out as well. Then we have these really delicate ones, the rue anemone. Those I'm going to do a special kind of an excavation. I'll get a little maybe a fork even, and come in and try and transplant those because they're very delicate. I found a couple of those flowers that are just about to bloom. This one has a little pink color with that little yellow heart and there's another one over here where you can just see a little bit of that coloration. And then we have a whole bunch of these ones too 
with those little white flowers, they're all over the place. So I'm going to try and transplant those as well. But anytime we see a dandelion, we can just pull it up by the roots. Try and get as many leaves as possible so that the leaves don't break off. And you should, if the ground is soft, look at that. That entire root slid right out. So we've got quite a few to do, but it's going to look drastically different once we're done. It's going to look really nice. So I got a whole bunch of those wild violets. We've got some of those daisy type flowers, but this is what we've got. We've got a couple of the white flowers, a few other miscellaneous things like grass. We've got a whole bunch of wild violets, a few of these daisy type flowers, a couple different types of clover, and some more native grass. A whole nother huge batch of wild violets, and then a few more of those white flowers too. So, and then these are all the weeds. So quite a bit of growth. And then I'm going to just kind of rake this over, and then I'll kind of expose those rocks and bring them up to the surface. Then the next time it rains it'll wash out everything. Just keep it nice and clear. But I think we're going to plant them, some of them over here. We've already got some of those wildflowers that are the daisy type ones. The wild violets are everywhere. So we're really not short on those, but this is a great empty spot that'll just fill in real nicely. This is the first strawberry I've seen this year, and it's growing in a kind of peculiar spot. So last year they set out runners all the way down onto our bricks here, and we've just kind of let them spread, and now we're getting free fruit. They might be a little dirty, but we can just rinse them off, and as long as they're not eaten by ants or anything, they should be okay found something strange in the strawberry patch. These ants have kind of built a house around this plant. See them poking around inside. It's really cool. They've built themselves a little tree house on my strawberries. I had no idea they could do that. <laughs> 